Good evening and welcome to our daily devotion this Advent time and it's the third Sunday in Advent today. Our reflection is entitled More Than a Prophet and our readings, should you like to follow them, are taken from Isaiah chapter 35 verses 1 to 6a and Matthew chapter 11, 2 to 11. Matthew 11, chapter, uh, verse 2, B to 3 says this. He sent his disciples to Jesus with this question. Are you the one who has come or should we look for another? We know enough about John the Baptist's life to know that he didn't do anything halfway. He preached repentance and announced the coming of the Messiah the one whose sandal he was not fit to unstrap, the one who would baptise with fire and the Holy Spirit. With our 2020 spiritual hindsight, we assume John had some insider tip to let him know Jesus was the one. But in today's gospel, from his prison cell, he makes clear he doesn't know. In fact, he wonders if he should be looking for someone else. Let that reality sink in. Is there anything in your life for which you would give up everything and risk imprisonment and even death without absolute certainty about the one you were proclaiming? In a world where we like to know everything the minute it happens, preferably a minute before, it's hard to imagine the complete and utter trust in God that John's mission required. John the Baptist is the summit of the whole Jewish tradition. He will be the great prophet who, with his own finger, can point to the Messiah, the Christ, and therefore the coming of the kingdom, writes Trappist father Theophane Boyd in Sundays at the Magic Mon Monastery. There is no mere holy man and yet even this holiest of holy men has to act completely on faith. He knows the light of the world is coming, even as he is left in the dark of uncertainty. God doesn't even doesn't ask even a fraction of this fortitude and faith from us. But how easily we back away and question God's plan. Trust, faith, Prayer, action. That was John's recipe, and it should be ours as well. Do you ever feel as though God is nudging you to do something or stop doing something? Do you shy away from taking action out of fear? What would it take to have John's total trust and leap into God's arms? Let's pray together. God who is and was and is to come, we trust in your word. Give us the devotion and determination of John the Baptist as we strive to put our faith into action in service to others. Amen. And I'll see you tomorrow.